Hello, all you kids and you cats. This is a up close tutorial on how to change your strings with a slotted headstock. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Larry from Ukulele Project Hawaii, and if this is your first time to the channel, let me be the first to say a como mai. We do tips and tricks and tutorials involving the ukulele and also to include what goes on here in the ukulele community and what goes on here at Ukulele Project Hawaii. So if that's something that interests you, we recommend that you subscribe and put that notification bell on so you don't miss a beat. If you're a returning Euchre and you get, welcome back, my friend. You can also visit us over on our socials where we do daily posts that encourages you in your ukulele lifestyle. So today we're going to zoom the camera right in and show you exactly how to put your strings when you have a slotted headstock. Let's get into the video. First thing I had to do was remove my strap. If you don't have a strap, you can skip this step. But also this step you cannot. You got to loosen all your strings and take them off of the tuning pegs. I used the Koalao third wound, which is my C string. My C string is wound and it makes it a little bit thicker than the rest. So tying it is going to take a little bit other techniques. So just make sure you get your fourth string in first, your top string, your G string. Then you can go three, then two, then one. Remember, like I said, your C wound, your steel wound C string is a little bit thicker. So just uh, make sure you tighten it down good and tight. So after you're done with your last string, your bridge should look nice and neat. If you need more to tips and tutorials, link is in the description of our video about nice and neat bridges. So here's where we failed and what we did wrong. This is why we're showing it to you so you guys don't make the same mistake. We went through the hole just once and thought the tension would be just fine. We did, however, string it up and twist it and wind it from inside to out. So make sure that your string is twisting outwards towards the tuning key. That portion was good and that made it for a nice and neat tune. Braided the remaining strings in the back just to make room for that fourth string. After we were done with that fourth string, we thought we were good until we started actually bringing each string up to tune and realized it was stripping. It was releasing and losing its tension. We did, however, cut the back axis off and that's where we made the mistake. So I needed to get the pliers I remember I went in through the hole only once, so this time I am going through the hole one more time. Still twisting it from inside out. You might want to make sure you use your tools on the back side so you don't damage your head plate. And here it is with the new strings. Now, yes, we did have an absolute fail when it came to the first time stringing up the ukulele. But we fixed that. So one more time to reiterate exactly what has happened and the closer up video had uh, given you guys a little bit more detail. You go through the hole once, pull it out, come back and go through the hole again. But stringing it from left to right, inside and out is the exact same way. That way you have more tension on your gear tuner here to hold your string in place. I had strings slip out. So again, go through, pull it out, and go right back in the same hole the way you came back out from. Pull it in, use your tools. Suggestion is putting the tools from the back so if you do scratch it, uh, that you don't see it. Um, I do have uh, more string, a little bit to cut off again here, um, but I did my usual pull out stretch technique that I have gone over in Bro Tip Tuesdays. I have gone over how to make this all secure and nice, making them all go in the same angle, in the same direction. So you have no buzzing, it's not touching your face, so it's not buzzing. All these videos will be in the description below, so go ahead and check those out. But from what I've been playing, and I've been playing this ukulele probably for the last, with the new strings, for the last hour or so, and it's warming up. And that is it for the ukulele tutorial on how to change your strings, fails and all, uh, with a slotted headstock. We learned along the way, and I'm glad that we learn together. And if you enjoyed learning together with me, 
please go ahead and strum on that like button. Come on back to the channel, check it out. The div most diverse ukulele channel that is on YouTube for sure involving the ukulele. So please go ahead and subscribe. Put that notification bell on so you don't miss a beat. We'll strum again another day. Aloha, mahalo, and God bless. Also, what I would like to do on this ukulele is file down this saddle. I believe the action is a little bit too high for my playing, and I want to bring the action down too.